So let's take you through a selection of heritage, old money luxury bags that you can consider adding to your luxury collection. And as a bonus bag, we have the Gucci Jackie bag. The Gucci Jackie bag was debuted in the 1950s. Originally called the 50s Constance, it was a functional and chic bag with all the markings of a classic. However, it did not reach the it bag status. But with a little help and push from former first lady, Jackie Kennedy Onassis, the bag took on a new identity. Jackie Kennedy Onassis attracted the hearts of many around the globe. With her elegant style, the bag definitely received Jackie's seal of approval and became synonymous with her style and elegance, effortless look and sophisticated fashion. The popularity of the bag rose shortly after, solidifying the Gucci Jackie bag's place in history as a style and silhouette that has become a mainstay in Gucci's archive of iconic bags. The Gucci Jackie bag was a new silhouette that encapsulated the era of the free spirit bohemian style of the 60s and 70s. Its main inspiration was the bags used by homeless people and wanderers. The knapsack made from a handkerchief and a stick that was used to carry their belongings. Originally designed as a unisex bag, it grew to be a favourite ladies bag. The Gucci Jackie is characterised by its half moon crescent shape, short buckled strap and by the snap hook push lock closure also known as a piston. The Jackie bag fell out of favour for many years after the passing of Jackie Kennedy, but was later reimagined and revitalised with every new creative director. It was revitalised in 1999 by Tom Ford. It was revived in 2009 by Farida Giannini, who called hers the new Jackie. And again in 2019, Alessandro Michele reintroduced the Jackie in his Chateau Marmont collection, but it was the full winter 2020 collection that was more significant. The latest revitalization, called the Jackie 1961, is a more rigid and compact silhouette and is crafted in a sleek, rich, smooth leather finish, retaining its curved shape and iconic golden clasp. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is available in various colors from primary colours to pastel colours, as well as the iconic Gucci Supreme beige and ebony, with the brown leather finish and is also offered in exotic skins like python and ostrich. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is available in various sizes, starting from a small, mini and medium, with the Gucci 1961 medium bag being the perfect everyday companion. The Gucci Jackie 1961 comes with a detachable and adjustable shoulder strap, making the bag extremely versatile so it can be worn several ways. In addition, the Jackie 1961 bag features the signature gold tone metal piston buckle closure clasp, reminiscent of the original. The gold piston clasp is the sole piece of hardware on the Jackie bag, giving it a minimalistic and sophisticated aesthetic. The interior of the Jackie bag is lined with a suede-like microfiber fabric and opens up to one compartment with an open pocket and a zipper pocket. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is a practical and functional genderless no-thrills bag that is both utilitarian yet effortlessly bohemian and chic. Keeping strong similarities to the original model, the Gucci Jackie 1961 bag encapsulates the 1960s high fashion whilst retaining its spirit of maternity. The Gucci Jackie 1961 has proved itself as an elegant, evergreen fashion accessory, blending the past and the future into one distinctive unisex allure. And at number five, we have the Hermes Bolid bag. The Hermes Bolid is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The bag has stood through almost a hundred years in fashion and is still going strong. The history of the Hermes Bolid bag is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors, who showed Emile Maurice Hermes a new technology at one of his factories. The use of a zipper to fasten a cloth to the rooftop Ford convertible cars. Emile Maurice Hermes used this new invention to revolutionize luxury handbags as we knew it. Hermes patented the zip closure mechanism in France and soon after, Hermes added a zipper to the middle of their bag designs, creating the Bolid in 1923. The Bolid was the first Hermes bag made with a zip, 
and the first bag in history made with a zipper. The word bolid originally meant meteor or comet, and then in the 20th century, it was turned into a nickname for sports or fast cars going full speed on the road. Initially, the bolid was named the Le Sac pour la Auto, or the bag for the car, before it became the bolid. Originally designed for storing your valuables during travel was to easily be placed in the trunk of a car. It wasn't until 1982 that a smaller version was debuted in the handbag size. The Bolid is a minimalistic, graceful and understated classic bag with a very spacious interior. The Hermes Bolid bag has a trapezoidal shape and is equipped with long, curved handles, a removable leather shoulder strap and a padlock and zipper with a clochette. The exterior gorgeously features the signature lovely Hermes stitching saddle pattern too. The Hermes bolid bag comes in quite a few sizes. The largest at 45 centimeters, then we have the 35 centimeters, the 31 centimeters, the 30 centimeter, the most recent 27 centimeter, and the rare 20 centimeter. The most common size purchase are the 27 centimeters and the 31 centimeters in addition to the 30 centimeter. The 45 centimeter bag is used more for travel as a weekender bag than an everyday bag and is often used by men. The rare 20 centimeter bullet bag is very difficult to find and is a super hot style. Like other Hermes bags, there are various styles in the bullet. It comes in two different styles, the Mew and the Rigide. The Mew is a soft leather which gives the bag a more casual look. The Rigide is hard and makes it a sturdy bag and a good option as a workhorse bag. Depending on the style, there are two further distinctions. One is the web bullet, which has an external pocket, no oval patch and a two-way zip closure. And the other version is just the bullet, which has a single zip closure, an oval patch and an extra long strap. The oval leather part is especially made for your initials. The bullet also comes in Sikkim leather for the Mew and is available in either Epson and Clements leather for the Rigide. Hermes also create limited edition pieces. The Bolid is a versatile bag suitable for everyday use and travel. The Hermes Bolid bag represents an essential piece of fashion history with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The elegant design is key for fashionistas that are not loud over the top. The chic and luxurious bag is a fantastic choice to add to any luxurious wardrobe. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keeple. George Vuitton invented the signature Keeple as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keeple model was so popular that soon after a smaller version under the name the Express was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory, designed for more personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy women of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The actress requested Louis Vuitton create a custom Speedy model that was smaller than the original 30. Louis Vuitton obliged and created a smaller version of the Louis Vuitton Speedy, the Speedy 25. When the Speedy 25 of Audrey Hepburn was introduced, the demand for the Speedy soared and its fate was sealed. The Speedy is now available in five different sizes, with the number referring to the width of the base of the bag. There is the Nano, the Audrey Hepburn Speedy 25, the original 30, the 35 and the 40. The Speedy 25 is a popular size due to its practical nature but is not oversized. The Speedy 30 is a compact handbag, ideal for everyday use and perfect for carrying all your essential larger items. The Speedy 35 works well as a bag for more than your essentials and the Speedy 40 is the largest size and a good option as a small weekend or travel bag. 
The Spady bag is one of the most unique Louis Vuitton bags that is made from one large piece of fabric from front to back when designed with the monogram canvas. As a result, there are no seams on the bottom of the bag and the back of the bag features the LV monogram logo upside down. The silhouette of the Louis Vuitton Speedy is inspired by the Boston bag, a slightly dome-shaped bag. The Speedy is commonly crafted in the sturdy monogram structured waterproof tear and scratch resistant canvas with a natural vachetta trim on the double torrent top handles, in addition to the piping and the tapers of the bag from the rectangular bottom. The vachetta leather, being an untreated premium cowhide leather, will receive a full patina and darken with frequent use. The Speedy opens up to an interior material made of canvas or microfiber with one large main compartment without dividers, making the bag extremely versatile for every use. Each Speedy bag is also adorned with brass hardware. The Speedy is typically available in the monogram canvas, the Demier Ebene, the Demier Azur print and the Epi leather. Over the years, the Speedy has become available in several more materials, including the Nomad leather, the black multicolour, the white multicolour and the monogram on prion leather. In addition to limited editions, the Speedy got a small transformation with the introduction of a large shoulder strap with the Speedy bandolier. The bandolier meaning with a strap in French as the perfect option for the modern woman needing a bag offering hands-free usage. In 2015, Louis Vuitton decided to redesign the Speedy monogram, updating it to align with modern use now, on some speedy bags, there is an interior zipper pocket and a redesigned handle base chap. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trend to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number three, we have the Louis Vuitton Armour Bag. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton Armour Bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. The Armour is a practical and compact trapezoidal bag with a long base evolved from the Louis Vuitton streamer bag. Although the Armour is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Marceau. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile, decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given, na given the name Alma, a tribute to Place the Alma, a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Sienne in the Paris High Fashion District. The Alma bag is a capacious and functional bag with a wide opening. The Alma bag opens up to an interior lines with microfiber with two inside compartments. The Alma also features many elements of gold hardware, including the sturdy studs at the bottom of the bag and zippers. Since 1992, the Alma has appeared in different finishes, fabrics and colors, adding to the appeal of the Alma. A sleek and chic bag, sophisticated enough to elevate any outfit. The Alma is offered in a variety of colors, prints, graphics and limited edition designs too. The Alma is available in different materials from the classic monogram canvas to the monogram Venice and Epi leather. The Louis Vuitton Alma bag's price ranges from as little as £950 to over £3,000 for the exotic leathers and limited edition bags. The Alma is available in five sizes that suit and serve different purposes in different fashionistas. The Alma comes in sizes from the Nano, BB, PM, MM and GM. The BB meaning ban Beba Bandelier, which is French for baby shoulder. The BB version has a detachable shoulder strap, which means fashionistas now have a bag with even more utility and versatility. The PM size stands for petite model in French, meaning small model. The MM stands for median model, moyenne model. The size along with the PM are the most popular size. The grand model, the GM size, is the largest size, a popular size for travel. The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number two, we have the Chanel 255, Chanel Reissue 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short straps, which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been involved in and it wasn't until February 1955 
that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic Flat due to its popularity, but later the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The reissue 255 is offered in either a gold or silver metal or chain strap. Some gold hardware versions are offered in 20 to 24 karat gold plated solid brass. The reissue 255 features a burgundy coloured lining embroidered with Chanel's CC initials and a Chanel stamp logo on the inside, in addition to the Made in France or Made in Italy caption on the inside, usually identical to the colour of the metal used in the particular model's production. The Chanel Reissue 255 has a square or rectangular shaped silhouette with a flat front that features a twist lock closure mechanism. The front lock in this Chanel style is called the Mademoiselle lock. The bag also features diamond or chevron quilted pattern stitching for durability. Traditionally, the 255 features double flaps, which means they have both the exterior flap closure and an interior flap compartment under the top flap. The Chanel Reissue 255 opens up to a main leather lined interior and has an outer flap pocket and inside there are two flap pockets, one small pocket for smaller items like lipstick and at the exterior of the bag there is a slip pocket. In addition to zippered compartments at the inside of the front flap, ideal for storing love letters which Coco Chanel is rumoured to have done with her own 255 bag. The reissue 255 is usually crafted in two leather options aged calf skin, leather or caviar leather. Chanel's aged calf skin is less likely to show scratches or marks. It has a fairly soft yet durable texture that holds up its shape for several years. Since the debut of the reissue 255, there has been several variations and it has been reimagined and revitalized in different colors, leathers and fabric combinations. The Chanel reissue is available in an array of classic colors from black, gray and white to primary colors like red and blue and more. The Reissue 255 is available in five sizes, the 224, the 225, the 226, the 227 and the 228, with the 228 discontinued. The 224 is the small size, the 225 is the medium, the 226 is the large size and the 227 is the jumbo size. Although the name Reissue only applied to the commemorative handbags, it is now used as a name for all the handbags that look like the original Reissue 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly bag. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches. Before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American-born actress turned Monaco princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere and on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sacca de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. The Kelly bag has a sculpted handle with a trapezoidal structured shape and curved edges. The Kelly also features two straps that meet over the front flap of the bag. The Kelly bag features triangular gusset sides and is made of three layers of leather. The Kelly bag opens up to a leather-lined interior with a single open compartment and a zippered pocket on the rear side of the bag, in addition to two slip pockets. The Kelly is also adorned with signature hardware elements, from the clasp to the studded feet bottom, and the lock and key that sits in a leather lanyard known as the clochette. The hardware is usually either gold-plated or with a palladium finish. Other versions come in 24 karat plated gold or silver. Lastly, the famous gold stamp that says Hermes Paris gives the final seal. 
The Hermes Kelly bag is available in eight sizes with the number relating to the length of the base of the bag in centimeters. We have the Kelly 15, the Kelly 20, the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32, the Kelly 35, the Kelly 40 and the Kelly 50. The Kelly 40 and 50 tend to work better for travel. The most common size of the Kellys are the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32 and the Kelly 35. All great choices for everyday wear. The Kelly bag comes in two distinct styles, the Cellier and the Return style. The cellier construction is the older and defined with a pointed out edge that reveals a clearly visible top stitching and resin edge coating, giving the Kelly a more rigid structure. This also gives the Kelly cellier a more structured formal and ladylike look. The Kelly cellier therefore comes in levers like Epson and box leather. The return style has a softer, slouchier structure as the bag is sewn and then turned inside out, hiding the exterior side stitching and completed with a pipe and trim. The return is typically produced in more supple and softer leathers like the Togo and Clements leather. The Kelly Cellier is also slightly more costly than the return of the same size due to the bag shape. The original Kelly is referred to as Kelly One and is often sold with a shoulder strap and features a single ring design. The Kelly 2 was released from the 2000 and is an update to the original Kelly. This version features a double ring at the top handle designed to attach a shoulder strap. The Kelly bag is also offered in precious skins from crocodile to ostrich and a wide and vast array of every colour under the rainbow in various shades and hues. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom.